first match that I saw at Thumb Hall, I think, was in 1952. I was a boy coming up to the ground for the first time. I remember it was Lee. I don't remember whether I thought that Lee were a good side or a bad side, and I can't even remember what the result of the game was. The first match, so what, about 1937? What the first game was, I can't think. I think I probably turned to matches without realising it. Uh, I came with my father on my bike, um, and I just can't remember those games. The, the first, first one when I came on my own as, a, as an actual spectator was in 1963. We were playing against Featherston. Uh, we lost that game, but um, I enjoyed the atmosphere, I enjoyed the spectacle, and just carried on coming ever since. My first match here, I think, was uh, I jumped off a plane from Australia on a Wednesday night and played the second team match on a Thursday night in front of about 400 people. And so it was a bit of a culture shock. The first one was against Huddersfield, actually, uh, a pre-season friendly. So the first major yellow player was against Featherston, one of my uh, own teams, and uh, we got us out of the first match. It was again Oldham. That, I think it was the fourth match that I ever played. Uh, it was a friendly against Wellington. Uh, it's in my mind because I got injured in the first half and I just must have uh, a very happy uh, welcome to my house. I remember the first match, I think it was Featherston at all, and we got trapped. I had a, I had a nightmare, so did Ted. I, I, I could remember coming off from the directors there with the, the head in the hand and thinking, you know, what, what have we done? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the first match was against Huddersfield. From Hall is it's quite an unusual name for a ground and I think people who come from outside may wonder what they're coming to when they come to Trum Hall. They might think it's some great place like Sidgin Hall. But Hall is actually a local word meaning farmstead. We've got Spring Hall and Sand Hall in the area. And Trum Hall is just in that. It, it was a farm. We bought it in 1886 and converted it into a rugby ground and, uh, and a cricket ground and then a Sierra Bowling Green was added later. And a thrum, the thrum part of it, I believe a thrum is a thread from the old woollen industry and uh, nothing to do with us of course, because uh, whoever owned the farm gave it that name before we came, but that's how thrum all came into being. The ground itself is, is a unique sort of a ground, there's not much point having a home ground is there, unless it's a little bit unique, to give you some home advantage. Thrum all is unique because it has this slope on it, nearly all the Halifax slopes, so it's difficult to find somewhere that doesn't slope, but uh, the Halifax does and and the team over the years have been able to exploit that slope and, and use it to their advantage. Well, we've been here for nearly 112 years now. The first match was played right back in 1886 when Halifax played Hull. We were a rugby union club in those days because the league didn't start until 1895. So 112 years, 112 years of, uh, of great successes and, and, and great matches. I think it is a unique ground. Uh, within the rugby league. Um, in Victorian times, uh, grounds were very compact and uh, the spectators virtually lined the touch lines. Uh, they're a little further back than that now, but uh, it is a unique atmosphere created by uh, the nearness of the supporters to the playing action, uh, which makes it extremely exciting to be stood there on the touch lines and witnessing the battle taking place no more than five metres in front of them. I think we have probably um, been considering the move seriously over the last two years. Um, two years ago, we were having a board of attempt to uh, redevelop some hall here on this side. Um, but at the end of the day, that was not practical. Uh, it was not possible to get national lottery funding for a development here, which meant uh, a lot of community facilities being built into the uh, new stadium. Um, so at the, at the end we decided that um, that was never going to be and we started to look around for uh, an alternative venue for the club. The final decision um, as to whether we should, we should move or whether we should strive to continue here for as long as possible was really taken uh, when the council uh, made the club aware that it was prepared to lease the Shea Stadium to the two premier sports clubs in the town. It was a tough decision, uh, I must say, um, but one that the club had been considering for some time. Um, 
we have very much in mind um, the lack of facilities for supporters here and we also had uh, very much in mind um, the rugby league requirements for training of the future. It is the close of an era and bringing to the end a um, hundred and three years of professional rugby league in Halifax at this famous old game. We have decided uh, to play one final game at some hall, um, partly as a fundraising event um, for funding our part of the development down at the day, but also to give uh, the supporters both old and new uh, a chance to play the last respect in drum hall here, and we've organised a game against Leeds Rhinos, which will take place on, on Sunday, March 22nd. This is the final game to be played out here, and it will be an emotional occasion. Um, we have a lot of supporters who have been coming here for 50 or 60 years, and maybe some of them in fact don't, don't come here on a regular basis, but we're fully expecting that anybody who has uh, rugby league in their blood uh, and has come over the years at some time to some hall will like to come here and see one last game play. Night bit tomorrow. I suppose it's got to be a feeling of sadness, really. Um, I like some hall. People say that it's dilapidated and outdated. I don't agree with that. Uh, I think it's a lovely ground. Some hall is a great place to be. I like the atmosphere. I know it's probably not the best ground, but the atmosphere, the fact that it's so close to the players, um, it's very intimidating, I think, to me, to be involved inside, but yeah, the atmosphere, and, and the fans, I think, you know, it's like fans are the best.
the train going to be naughty to go and the we got our long sleeve shirt. I think most of the lads here are not just going to play with a long sleeve shirt, especially after the video. Look, most of them just chopped the sleeves off. But apart from that, I think it's just treated it like a normal game, really, it's just like a police match. Don't put a lot of shoes on, that's why I shouldn't be just stopping on and by himself. They don't shoot on all the black of the shoes, they don't run through a fucking shoe, they have this really Pre-season friendly, and obviously with the game, with the rare game went, we played probably stuck with our, our big guns uh, on the bench. We prepared as uh, as if we were playing in assembly, uh, and as it too when we started playing, there uh, was no friendly at all. We took two and two down in the first 20 minutes. And uh, when we took, we took a real day like that after about 20 minutes and uh, got back on top. The last kind of time we always played in the back of their minds and, and when we took them to the end and we heard the crowd saying this is our last time so we decided to, you know, we have to start playing. It's a great place, I think, uh, especially the scratch and shed, the great atmosphere down in Port, just when you scroll back, when you scroll at that end, it's a brilliant atmosphere, all the crowd cheering. This is just a bit of a I don't really think I'll go on the... ...to go and miss anything, uh, except for the scratchy beds, obviously, the crowds that get in there, and uh, the support that we get. Hubert Lockwood played for us during the 1930s, he thanked us in January 1934. So he's one of the oldest surviving players, uh, and he's uh, over 89 years old now, but uh, what a fantastic guy he is, still regularly coming to games, still looks as fit as a fiddle, whether he is or not, I don't know, but he, he looks really great. Uh, but he's made a great contribution to the village. I, I, we had a very, very good time. Uh, I, I would think that it would be the best Halifax guy. Uh, I, I don't know, people might know, know not to do. But uh, we, we, we had a very, very good time in my day.
We had a great dive from the next captain, if you remember. I bought you a lot of the We a great team ship. We had a great coach. Mm-hmm. Albert Fernley. Then two seconds for Luke Lee. We were bound to come. We had a chance to stand. I joined uh, in, uh, just before Tony and, and we would we would sort of be apprentices to uh, graduate from all sides. You know, from the championship and from the Yorkshire Cup and God knows what else to do for a team. Uh, and we took over and like Tony said, we had a few lean years. So, we came to the moment. I think the team spirit then, I've never known anywhere where the team spirit has been as good. There's always been a good team spirit somehow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But that particular team, two or three seasons was just everything. Was, you didn't mind if you were subbing, you were like somebody else sub. Yeah. It was just, everything about it was just, it was good to play. It was good to play. Yeah. And all of that, we got paid to. Nineteen sixty five I think yeah. 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 Alifax had just won the championship. Uh, so that's one of the reasons I came to uh to come out. Yeah. Because we just won the championship. Uh, and after that, um a couple of rain seasons. And then um the from all just started coming good again in nineteen seventy two. We uh reached the John Player final, which was the first final of the John Player and uh, Okay, enough for it to be there for the Stadium. Uh, the turn mm-hmm. here, we we'll went to the um, semi final of the Challenge Cup, which uh, I thought we were destined to be to Wembley, but unfortunately enough, we yeah. uh, didn't make it. Yeah, so that's why we're here, because it is the last match, and I uh, have great fond memories after seven years, spending seven years at Summer, I'll have great memories, so it's, it's a pleasure to come back. And it's a sad occasion, really, but. Uh, it's probably to come back and see some of the, uh, the old players and hopefully we'll have a good day. Generally speaking, I had a, a very, very happy time. I always put it down as one of the happiest times I've ever had uh, in the game of uh, rugby. Nice match, yeah, I'll be about 5,000 tons of watts. 
the today. So I think the party all well enjoyed uh, watching the special on a date race. I think they all enjoyed it. I think for the backroom staff and uh, the directors and the supporters, there's more than nothing on the players, but uh, it, it, it was quite good to see a nice turnout and play me all traditional tips. Oh, it was just a very emotional day, obviously, and it was just brought back a lot of memories, especially the old players. I mean, I watched them play a long time since. I mean, I've been coming up here for the odd years. There's been a lot of hard, physical men out there today, and it's been a very, very good match and a very good end display to the very sad occasion which it is. And as you saw, like my son says, that Halifax now progressed into Super League 3 and hopefully bring the championship. And all the best to the lads from all the supporters. It's probably the right thing to do is move into the year for the old town. A nice new stadium. It will be a marvellous development once it's finished and uh, I think it's good for the community. Welcome to um, an historical day at Drum Hall. Um, the last match here, tremendous game of rugby, I think. Our thanks to Leeds for playing the match. Um, Leeds are a tremendously big club in rugby league, and um, we needed a good send-off today. I think we had a tremendous send-off, um, but it was a good match, and I thought that we were deserved winners at the end of the day. It's a delight to see so many past players, other people who are connected with the club and it's a very emotional day today to um, uh, be speaking at the last last year at some hall. But we have to look forward and we shall um, uh, we move on body down to the chair um, and take with us the, the atmosphere, the tradition, uh, the playing quality, uh, the the professionalism within the club, which we take all that with us, and which we improve it and move on. Um, and if we do that, then I think we'll create a similar club for, uh, for the children that we've seen running onto the field after the match. Uh, and that's what this is all about. It was quite a fierce match, and uh, I think the whole atmosphere started off being very subdued because of the emotion of it, but then I think the game itself took over, and uh, we were glad to get a win for Halifax. Um, for me, I suppose, it, it just sent me back to my childhood when we had a very good team then. And uh, I, I, I do like the, the atmosphere that the place uh, just conjures up. And you cannot beat uh, the atmosphere of, of, of Broom Hall when it's full and when Halifax are on a road. The atmosphere is here. It's a camaraderie on the road. It's a nice place to come. Hopefully we can uh, get something like that down here to build it right. Hopefully. I think probably the atmosphere of the crowd in general, uh, when there's a big match here and, and the ground floor and, and the track instead of things, uh, I think I'm with that atmosphere. I don't think we'll be able to replicate it in the stadium, although we do have to miss the head. I know what I won't miss, I won't miss the slope, but um, the thing I probably miss is the atmosphere, the crowd every weekend and the chanting and yelling, and that's probably the main thing I'll miss, but hopefully um, when we move to the stage, we'll still get the same Supporters and, and the atmosphere will be just as good. <laughs> <laughs> 